What's up guys, welcome to your 41st tutorial for the new Boston. And what we're going to do in this tutorial is basically finish up our application and we're going to briefly talk through everything and we're also going to learn about permissions in this in this uh, tutorial. It's quite a few things but it's going to be pretty simple and I did check it on my phone. Basically the emulator is messed up in the last tutorial. I don't know if it can't use the the camera application or what but uh, it does work on my phone anyways so um, what we're going to do now is basically get that image or this bitmap that we collected from the data that was received after our um, camera application finished we're just going to set that picture to the actual phone's background even when they're using our application you know the wallpaper of the actual phone so it's going to be pretty simple now that we have this bitmap set up we're going to use a bitmap to set the application or the wallpaper of the actual phone so how we can do that is we're going to say get application and I'm sorry this is within our if our other button was pressed or set wallpaper button was pressed uh, that's where we're setting this up within that switching case in our on click method so we're going to say get application context and that's going to be a method that gets the context of our phone and we can use some methods on that and there's one called set wallpaper pretty self explanatory of what that does so we're just going to scroll down I was just seeing if there's some other ones I could show you guys set wallpaper as you can say, see it takes a bitmap and we're just going to put our bitmap in there called BMP and finish our statement and it's going to give us an error because again this is something kind of sketchy it might not always work so we're going to have to surround a try and catch with it so just click that and it's going to put it within a try bracket and catch the exception input output exception that's what that stands for and then it's just going to print it uh, to the debugger or throw it around. Um, so there we go we pretty much finished this application and the only other thing we need to do is because we are setting the wallpaper we're gonna have to add a permission and I briefly talked about this in the past but we do that within the Android manifest. So again we open up the manifest and there's this permissions tab right here so we're gonna add a permission to our application and we're just gonna say uses permission and we can scroll through some of the permissions that we can use. And now there's a permission within this um, called uh, Android.permission set wallpaper, I believe it is. Something like that. But yes, yeah, set wallpaper. And you're probably wondering, maybe you aren't, but I just wanted to talk about it. You're like, okay, so we can use the camera, we can send emails, and we don't permi need permission for that, but we need permission to set the wallpaper. Well basically the reason we don't need permissions for those two other things that we've done such as a wallpaper or I'm sorry such as sending an email and what else what did I just say man it is getting too late it's like four in the morning right now um, basically those other two things setting an email and um, using the camera we can use those because we aren't actually defining uh, those activities those are kind of standard activities and to use those activities when they created them um, basically the email activity that's where they set up those permissions so we're just using a different activity for the most part or a different application altogether same with the same with the camera so if we set up our own custom camera we'd probably have to use a permission for that but the only permission we need to set up for application is to set the wallpaper so we're gonna add that and hit just enter or whatever and then when we go into the manifest you see they add that right here right outside our application bracket so if you guys feel like typing it out you can type it there or again just right below our application right here that's where I generally set mine up but when you do it through the easy tab right here it sets it up above it not a big deal so our application works I'm gonna run it on my phone and show you guys some of the errors that this application has and then we're gonna fix those errors in the next couple tutorials so alright what's up guys so here's our camera application that we just set up and basically I don't know if you can see alright so we're gonna try and take a picture and it opens up our camera activity as you can see here I'm just gonna take a, take a quick pic and then it's gonna say is that okay or is that okay are you guys done we're gonna say done and uh, there oh dang it well there's one of the errors that I wanted to show you guys basically when we tilt our camera that picture goes away 
But just to show you guys that this act activity or this application actually works, I'm gonna take a picture like this. And then um, hit done. And as you can see, there is our image view right here and it has that picture I just took. And then we can say set wall, wallpaper. And we're gonna add like a little display so it gives the person using the application a little bit of security that did set the wallpaper. But uh, just I wanted to show you guys the error that if it tilts, it goes back to our default image up there. So that's something we have to get rid of. And then also another thing that we can do that's a problem. Oops. As you can see, once it has that default bitmap right there, and we hit set wallpaper, it's going to force close our application. But as you can see, I'm outside of our application now. I'm in my actual home page, and it has that picture set as the background. I don't know if you can tell that. Looks pretty blurry and everything, but um, that's fine. So our application, for the most part, works. We're going to fix some of those errors in the next tutorials. So I'll catch you guys then.